I'm so excited to, to share this moment with you all. Um, I want to invite my very special friend, Brianna, and her mother, Evelyn, up to the stage. Please welcome them. This is Brianna, everybody. This is her beautiful mother, Evelyn. And I have so many relatives from being on this journey. It's just amazing. Evelyn, one thing as a parent that you know, you just always want your children to be healthy. That's all we all want is for our children to be healthy. And as a recipient, uh, and even more so as a parent, I can only imagine, even I can't imagine what this process has been like for you to go through. And I've spent time talking with Evelyn. She's an amazing mother, an amazing person, and she's got an amazing, amazing daughter, Brianna, who tonight I share um, a very worthy charm with her. It's a charm of fearlessness because she has displayed so much fearlessness in her young life, and I told her that this is a magical charm, and it now stays with her forever, that she will always have that fearless, fearlessness to get through whatever life brings her. So, someone said we look alike, and I said, really? Wow, I love that. Anyway, you're a fantastic young woman, Brianna, I, and I know you're very excited to meet your donor. So, let me share a little bit about her with you. In November of 2016, Brianna had 14 days of consecutive 105 fever. We couldn't bring the temperature down with anything. All the specialists, all the doctors, with no answers. She was finally diagnosed with leukemia. She had a new treatment, which unfortunately she also relapsed from. So now we're really facing having a transplant is her only chance to survive. And at that point, we sat down with the hospital and they explained to us that they have to look outside of the family for a match. That was the worst three weeks of our life. The not knowing if there's a match out there for my daughter, there's nothing scarier. So when they called us up and they said, we have great news, we found a match. My daughter had a chance to live somebody was going to give her a chance. We have no idea who this person is. This particular stranger gave her life, gave her something I, I couldn't give her. This person is just not a person, is just not another human being. This person is an angel. I remember the day that the stem cells came to the hospital. I turned around and I said to my daughter, happy early birthday. She had a chance to live. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how much money you don't have, how many connections you have or you don't have, none of that matters. Only one thing matters, is their match. Because of gift of life, we celebrate every day. I send my daughter to school, we do homework. She lives, she's living. And she's gonna grow up, she's going to be a teenager because of an organization like the Gift of Life. I really wanna thank the donor and the Gift of Life for everything they have done for me. And the most important thing, I'm not sick anymore. I know you're ready to meet your donor, and I'm going to do that correctly. So let me share a little bit about your donor. Your donor swabbed her cheek and joined the registry more than 10 years ago. It seemed like such a small thing to do, but she recognized the enormous potential to help somebody in need. She got the call on the night of Halloween. She had come back from trick-or-treating with her sons. 
and knowing that you were so young, she was so immediately filled with thoughts of what if this was one of her own children, and she knew she had to do whatever it was to help you. She is 41 years old. She lives in New Jersey with her husband, John, and her three sons, Nathan, Henry, and three-month-old Owen. She works as a bank compliance officer. She loves to cook, dance with her boys. Your donor feels very lucky to have had the chance to do something meaningful. She is so thrilled that you are doing well, as we all are, and she jokes that she imagines you to be a smaller version of herself. So we'll just have to see, right? So Brianna, it is my greatest honor to introduce you to your bone marrow donor, Marina. Wow. I'm an emotional mess. <laughs> Bear with me for a second. I'm so happy to see you. I mean, we've been waiting for this for two years. I swabbed my cheek um, for nine years. I was on the registry before I got the call, as Wendy said, in Halloween of 2019. It was a voicemail describing that I had matched with a patient battling leukemia, and they wanted to speak with me about potential donation. We spoke the next day and I found out my match was a child, a nine-year-old girl. I was a mother of two little boys. I knew this was not something that I could turn down. Having now gone through the experience, I can confidently say that being a bone marrow donor is such an incredible opportunity, a blessing. I'd like to thank the Gift of Life organization for all of their support throughout the testing, the scheduling, the donation processes. They've answered the multitude of questions we had and even volunteered at the hospital to be with me on the donation day. My home support system, my husband John, was in agreement with me from the very beginning. And he and my boys took amazing care of me through their recovery. Words are not enough to adequately explain how happy I am to be here tonight. You can see the mess. <laughs> I'm so happy to see Brianna and see that you're just beautiful and, and thriving. Okay, so good evening, everyone. First, I would like to thank the gift of life. Without your support, everything that you do, I can't imagine all the things that you do that we don't even think about. Thank you so much. It just seems that the words thank you are not great enough to convey how important this organization is for people that really need a match. I absolutely refuse to think of where we will be now without your de dedication and your very hard work. Thank you to each and every person from the gift of life. Also, a very, very, very special thank you to all who donate money to the gift of life. Unfortunately, people don't understand how very important each dollar is when you're trying to save someone's life. I don't know if any of this could happen without the incredible generosity of individuals like you. Not in a million years would I have imagined that 
I would be told one day that my daughter has leukemia at the age of seven. Not only were admitted to the hospital immediately that same day, but for the next three months, we spend really difficult times in the hospital, especially since the day after we were admitted, my daughter had a massive stroke. The treatment for leukemia is about two and a half to three years long. I am the kind of person that needs to know of what happens if this doesn't work or that. And everyone kept on reassuring me, don't worry, pediatric leukemia has made incredible strides over the past few decades. You have nothing to be worried about. We're very, very successful in the treatment. But still, me being me, I kept asking, but what if? Eventually, at some point, I heard the word bone marrow transplant. But again, was very, very quick, quickly reassured, you have nothing to worry about. Treatments are great. Unfortunately, cancer has a mind of its own, and it does what it wants to do. Halfway through the treatment, Brianna relapsed. All of the sudden, we went from being very reassured into a massive panic mode. Immediately, my son was tested, but sadly, it was not a match. At this point, I literally went shopping for the best hospital. None of that matters if you don't have a match. It doesn't matter, you're in a good hospital, bad, no match, it doesn't matter. After picking one of the best hospitals that I thought could really help my daughter, now the scariest thing is waiting to see if there is a match. It took three very long weeks. The doctor called me and said, good news, we've identified a donor. Two things need to happen now. First, we need to make sure that the donor is still willing. And second, we need to dig a little bit more into the match. A few weeks later, I get a call again, and the doctor is really happy. He's saying, the donor is still willing, and the match is perfect. 10 out of 10, can't ask for anything better. The road to, tr to transplant is very difficult. Immediately, they started preparing my daughter's body for the transplant. She needed to have no trace of leukemia in her body in order for the transplant to be successful. They started her on large doses of chemo, but unfortunately, a month later, there were still traces of leukemia in her body. Everything was pretty much already set with the donor, with the hospital, so now we need to push everything up another month. Immediately, the first thought that crossed my mind, the donor is going to back up. The doctor told me that they were able to contact the donor, quote unquote, she said, don't worry about anything, whatever you need, whenever you need it, I will be available. Brianna and Hoderna, and Hoderna immediately next month were matched up into a procedure. I bet that the donor does not know this, but two weeks before Brianna's 10th birthday, the donor gave her the most incredible gift, a priceless gift, a gift of life. I remember staring at that bag of stem cells in complete and utter disbelief. I must have watched every drop drip, and with every drop dripping, I prayed to any and all gods, please make this work. How do you think such an incredible individual who so selflessly gave my daughter the one thing that I could not, life? Thank you just seems too little of a word. I'm internally grateful. Well, that goes without saying. The closest thing I could come up with, you are now and always will be my daughter's angel, my hero, and a part of my family. Not a day goes by that I don't think of you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, times a million, seems like a good place to start.
When I was seven years old, I was diagnosed with leukemia. I was sick for a very long time. I couldn't go to school or have play dates. Being sick is no fun. I just really wanted to have friends again and go out to eat. And of course, go shopping. Because of my donor, I am better now. I, I no longer have leukemia. But without the gift of life, there would be no donor for me. Thank you for gift of life, being so smart to have this amazing place that will help people like me. And my donor, you always be a part of me. The best doctors in the whole world could fix me. You fix me. So that makes you the best person in the whole world. Thank you. You are my hero.